What a pain in the ring piece. So, what's up, y'all? Uh, got a, quite a bit to do today. I've just got to uh, stop doing this. Got to take this brake line off that I destroyed with my hot brakes. If you've seen in the last video when the brakes failed, uh, I was giving it a good old fashioned hoon and uh, got the brakes a bit too hot. And then my brake lines are long and they ended up melting. Uh, I've got a mate that makes hell brake lines, so he's going to make me some shorter ones up. But I do have the rears that are a lot shorter. So if these fit, which I think I tried to fit first, I'll just use these and I'll re replace both fronts. Don't really need them on the back. And then I'll do the fluid change, drop them on the floor. I'll get Big A Dave down to come give me a hand bleeding them because I need my special bottle, wherever it is. So the other thing as well, I'm fucking, I'm so busy this month that I won't even be able to get a car ready. Like it's gonna probably end up staying like this till Jack Fest and then over the winter I'll get all the carving on because I've got to try and get that out my house sorted so I can sell it, so I can get moved, get a house with a big garage, and then I can move everything into there. Um, so I need to try and get rid of the house this month and next month and get it all going. Um, me battle. It's in a shitty container at the minute, but it's uh, just a Coke bottle with two holes in. This bottle, when you bleed the four pots with double cylinders on each side, well, double bleed valve, should I say. You've got to bleed them both at the same time, otherwise it doesn't work. You're constantly pushing air from one side of the caliper to the other. So, I have this that I made up last year, that I get to use again. Uh, oh, shit, sweet. Uh, and hopefully Big A Dave will pop down, probably tonight, if these lines actually work, and give me a quick hand in doing them. But I need to try and get them off before 10 o'clock, so that I can ring Big Gay, finishes at 11, that can come and give me a quick hand. Uh, if I don't end up getting them done, then it'll probably be on Monday. Battery's going dead, let me get a new one. Anyway, before he goes there, while I was at the rolling road, I fucking broke two of my batteries. Two of them, which I'm pretty pissed off about, and I can't really fucking repair them unless I glue them back together, but pretty pissed off as they're quite expensive, the fucking replacement batteries for these. So, we're back. So, I'm gonna throw this up in the air, get my wastegate off and my brake lines off, and then we can have a gander. Yeah, so there we are. Fucked, melted, Teflon hose. Melted right on the disc. And then put bright fucking shit all over it. So, I probably got away with not having to repaint my calipers. I can just leave them. Just got loads of shit on them. You know what? I need a 12 mil fucking socket for this and my 12 mils fucked off. I lost it on a Jaguar the other day, if you watch the Instagram stories. Shit, I just remembered I can't bleed them up today because uh, I haven't got any brake fluid. So I'm gonna order some 5.1 brake fluid uh, and then probably some new pads that I'll leave the discs on. The discs are fine, they're not warped or anything. So there we are, the melted brake line. So I was worried when it happened because I actually thought it was my caliper that give way and not my brake line and I thought for fuck's sake I bought these bloody four pots and now I'm gonna have to take them off and refurb them but I'm so relieved that it was just this pipe um, and I'm so happy that it happened where it happened like imagine if it happened when I was fucking proper hooning it like might not even have the Civic Turbo on the ramp at this rate uh, so this is a lesson learned. I did know they were too long, and if you look at the other side when we go around there in a sec, I'll show you that I pulled the other side through, but because I've had the suspension off and all the wheels off and everything so much, I've just forgot that I have to keep pulling them through. Um, so what it did, it, I pulled them through so it was tight in this, and then over time it's just pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled, and then it sat right on the disc, which was an oversight. But if you look at these, so they're about two inch shorter, the rears to the fronts, and this is about what I need. Um, I'll probably get another set that's an inch shorter just in case these 
end up being a bit stressed. Um, but if you notice on the rears, they're cranked, and on the front, they're cranked that way. So these are better because I can get them away from my caliper so they move away from the disc and then. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw these rears on. And that's, that's it, that's all she wrote. Uh, I've just managed to get my new line on. There we are. It is a bit close to that actual hub there. Well, it should sit like that. I'm just gonna go where, uh, not, not touching. I'm just gonna go turn the wheel and make sure that it doesn't pull it or foul it or anything. If it does, then I need I need one an inch longer. Um, these are two inch shorter than the others, so I need an inch longer. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get an inch longer with the back crank bits. Uh, so, I'm just gonna measure these up, take a picture, send them to my mate. Hopefully I'll get them by Monday. Uh, I can disconnect these, I'll just leave that one in for the time being, just because it's in. Um, and I'll get this wastegate off, and then that is it for today. Unless I might try and fit my carbon bonnet, because I'm gonna get a new slam panel Still waiting on the guy for wings, which I don't think I'll fucking get. Let's get a screamer pipe off first. First things first, screamer pipe off. And this is a proper dick with the exhaust in the way. Because if you remember, I put the screamer pipe on before I put the exhaust on. And then we need my special, specially crafted 13mm undo these fuckers. Wastegate is off. You see where it was blowing. Right on that edge there, it was up like this, and it's just been working its way loose. Uh, so yeah, I don't like how waste gates um, have this big bulge on the bottom. Someone knows why, please explain, because it's fucking stupid. Because uh, all it does, it stops you putting your bolts in. So, I've got new bolts. And they've got 10 mil heads, 8 mil thread, 10 mil heads, titanium. But they've got a 15 mil collar on, so I might have to. We can see it that way. If you see there, I don't think I'll get 15 mil in there. So uh, I'll probably have to grind them down a tiny bit. See how my grind wheel takes titanium. Uh, but I'm going to unscrew this anyway, get the spring out, get my new spring put in, and then we should be ready to hopefully get to Chris before Jack Fest so we can remap it, get it all done again and just play around with some pressures and we should be laughing them. <laughs> what a pain in the ring piece. Uh, and I need to keep this firing. So I think the firing just helps it seal. Firing for when I'm watching this back is on top of the ramp so I don't forget. Oh lovely, I get to use some brand new snap-on tools that I haven't used yet. Nice 300 and odd pound set of fucking Allen keys. So when it comes to buying stuff for the car, I like cheap. When it comes to buying stuff to fix the car, I buy expensive tools. Because I am a snap-on snob and I do like snap-on tools. I don't know, they just look a hell of a lot better than if I just had a box full of Draper shit, you know, like cheap ass nasty tools. It may look like I know what I'm doing, just maybe. I don't even know how to get that back in there. Get in there. There you are, you cunt. I just need to find all my spare fucking snap on stuff because everything else is in my van. So I'm just going to strip this fucking wastegate down. And the diaphragm looks like it's in good condition. Everything looks like it's still bolted up tight. I'll just probably run through all them little allen keys there. Uh, and then probably just stick a tiny bit of grease on the inside of there. Just so it doesn't dry out and so that it seals nice and well, uh, if anybody's built any waste gates and doesn't recommend me putting grease between the seals, let me know. Because uh, I have a feeling it might be alright as it is. And this is a 7 psi spring, but it's acting more like a 4. So, I can't remember which one I actually bought with it. 
I've also got, if anyone is interested, the D2 Racing uh, adjustable camber arms that have all been de-seized and everything's fine on them now. I've just copper slipped them all up. There you go, everything's fucking mint. So, 60 quid. If you want them, give me a message uh, on Instagram or a message on here with your Instagram or something and I'll just message you. Uh, yeah, uh, I've not replied to any of the comments yet on any of the videos because I've been fucking so busy getting the videos out and then working, getting home, sorting this out, breaking this. Uh, so I'll go through all the comments one day and not one day, like soon and uh, thingy him and get on with him. So I've been Stu, be back with you when I've got some parts and I'll see you in a bit.